Hi Gemini, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of May, as usual, I have a special sales offer available. And for this month, it's inspired in the current Taurus season we are on. If you would like to know more details about it, you can read in the description box below or you can email me with your questions down below. You can also find the current list of reading services I offer. And if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Gemini's, I'll be channeling messages for the collective of your sign, and then we'll tie it together also with the cards that will be showing up. I do feel like May can be like a very interesting resting phase, resting period. For many of you, it's like you want to take this month to reflect, uh, to think, you know, deeper about things that throughout the busyness of the other months you were not able to pick on, to really think, to really put your mind at it and um, be in this very investiga investigative uh, mode about it. So. I feel like one of the first messages about taking a break and using that break to your advantage. It's not like you're taking, you know, a break or using more of the slow time to do nothing at all. I actually feel like you have a lot going on behind the scenes that you're kind of concerned about. So I feel like you're wondering what's the next move that you should have. What's the best idea, project, you know, opportunity that you're going to attract and manifest into your life? What's the big next adventure, you know, step that you're going to take that you feel like is a level up for your life? Again, this is all about your personal chances in particular. What you're going to do for yourself ahead is quite important. At the same time, I feel like even though you're hiding here a little bit, I feel like you're extremely magnetic. So there's a magnetism about you and about how you can allure contacts, resources, people to you. Um, that can, you know, add in this process of finding, you know, where you should be heading. But I feel like it's a little bit tricky for some of you to trust or to even, you know put in considerations the input of other 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 influences that not your own and so there's a little bit of a tug of war because in one hand there's a part of you that feels like it needs it and another part of you that resists it and while you're taking this break or while you know things are a little bit slower um I feel like it's also to consider what kind of resistance you need to work on in order to get things to actually happen much smoother, much faster, much better even for some of you. Um, that still places you here in a very, very, very favorable position. So your status, your influence, your name, your reputation, your brand, what you make for yourself is a big theme. I also feel like you're quite um, private about something. Maybe you're hiding here something or you want something to be, you know, hidden for the time being, like a truth um, or even something you're working on. I just see a lot of privacy being here. Like you're imposing this privacy on yourself. Because you're afraid that if you go out too much, like you're going to spill it, you're going to say it. So maybe that's partially of the reason why many of you are hiding. Or you just don't feel, again, like it's time, you don't trust it. A lot of things to sort out while you're with yourself. Um, some of you could be also very upset with someone I see like an energy of breakup this could be like a breakup with a lover uh, family member a friend someone made you angry or is making you quite angry in May I see a lot of torn pictures so yeah definitely someone important 
to you. Again, Six of Swords, but you're taking this time, regardless of you being angry at people, at the world, with yourself, whatever it is, your issue, or do you just want to secure um, your current ideas and projects because you believe that that's the way to make them thrive? Whatever is your reason to take this break, Six of Swords is going to work to your advantage because you're going to be able to, by pulling yourself out of drama, out of contaminated environments, you're going to think better. You're going to have more openness to take in consideration what you really need versus what you really want to get rid of. So Six of Swords is an omen of better times, especially when it comes to mental peace. And sometimes to get this mental peace, you need to take the direction of your thoughts and of your life a little bit out of your usual routines. So anything you can do to take you out of routines that you feel are stressing you out more than are giving you anything good, it's, you know, very, very, very positive. Knight of Pentacles in your past position. So definitely there's something in your mind, something you're cooking, a plan, a project, an investment you're going to make, a move you're going to make. But I don't see you see the secret. I don't see you open about this or you're very selective to those you choose to say uh, the moon in your unconscious, so definitely you're led by unconscious drives right now. Sometimes they can be very good, sometimes they can be actually, um, you know, very, um, move, you know, very led by fear. And when we're led by extreme fear, we also tend to make mistakes. So being more vigilant of your impulses right now, both that places you in a position to run away or to get yourself extremely paranoid about things or those that lead you to give blind trust to everything around you. Those are red flags. Six of Swords is an energy of balance. You should always make a move here, especially in May, when you feel balanced about this. When you don't feel at war or led by something, you know, excessively like an excessive emotional impulse to do something. The moon also again speaks about what's behind the scenes, what is still to come to light. And there's some information that you might need to gather that you don't have access to yet, or you might need to dig a little deeper throughout May to understand yourself better and why certain things have been occurring the way they have, especially things that you feel have been falling apart. And I keep getting like the energy of relationships kind of not being uh, in the best in the best moment. Or you could even be dealing with a situation where you're going to find out that something has been going on behind your back and this is going to make you feel really upset. Um, for some of you, you could find that there's cheating going on and cheating has many um, manifestations, but it's anything that you feel it's deceptive towards you, that it's not taking in consideration the best of you, obviously. So, you know, cheating and deception can occur in all kinds of relationships, but you can find it out and this being also... A strong trigger to walk away and find here other places to think, to meditate, to gather here space in your thoughts, in your heart, to know what you should do next. You could also be just, you know, being given here information and now you're like, okay, what am I going to do with this? And taking this time to think about it. You want to be wise and smart, again, because you want to be on top. You don't want to have, if this is a secret also that involves you, you don't want to have your reputation or your name, you know, slandered or out there. You don't want gossip. So you might be also taking a moment here to think how are you going to be dealing with something? Because there's a deep fear that it's going to come out for some of you or you're involved in it regardless and you're going to have to fight for 
your version of the facts, your version of things. A little bit of tricky energy here, many of you are dealing with. Um, I see like some of you could be also making some sort of list of suspects here. So it's an interesting energy. I feel like you're really, again, in that vigilant mode, investigation mode. So if there's any kind of intrigue, drama going on in your life, for many of you, there will be. You also just secretly making kind of a list of, of, of facts, of events, of, um, you know, what you know to be true about people, to understand who's your enemy and who's your friend. Seven of Wands, yeah. You're going to fight for something. At the end of this process, you're going to be coming out of it strong, but in a need to fight. Fight for your truth, fight for your rights, fight for your name out there. I keep getting the name being a big theme here. The, the moon sometimes can reveal situations of, uh, of, of teth, theft. I think I'm seeing it right. So you can find that someone has been, you know, using your name for something, using your information, your data. Um, that can be here like issues of. Uh, someone using your identity for their, you know, for their deceptive ways, for their crimes. And you can be, suddenly see yourself involved in this drama. Yeah. Death. Well, the quality of what happens right now, inside and out, is extremely transformative for Geminis. So, it's not the most light-hearted moments but it's quite necessary here because in here the energy of the breakup I feel like there's gonna be like this very important breakup separation cut with an energy and influence a relationship that has been really toxic or really uh, in full disalignment with your path with what you want to do and it might take something quite extreme here to happen, a quite, you know, shocking to happen for you to have that realization or for you to fight for something you should already been been have been fighting for. But it could also be that um, because it's here your psyche that's being extremely effect affected. You're finding out that there's something like an imprint, a trauma, a belief that has been what is kind of holding you back for a long time from placing yourself right out there and not giving up the fights when they get tough. I feel like there has been a tendency to give up your dreams, to give up your your right to fight, your right to be, um, to own up to your to your creations. And this is also what is shifting ahead for you, is the way in which you place yourself within your own life and the right you have to do it. So I hope you have a great month. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.